हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी टेलिंग यू दैट हाउ टू हाईलाइट द सोर्स कोड इनसाइड योर ब्राउजर यूजिंग वेरियस थीम्स एंड लैंग्वेजेस सो बेसिकली इट्स अ सिंटेक्स हाईलाइटर एंड वी विल बी मेकिंग यूज ऑफ ए फेमस लाइब्रेरी व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज हाईलाइट जेएस सो हाईलाइट जेएस इज अ वेरी मच पॉपुलर लाइब्रेरी इन ऑर्डर टू हाईलाइट द सोर्स कोड इनसाइड योर ब्राउजर सो बेसिकली इफ यू हैव अ प्रोग्रामिंग ब्लॉग इफ यू हैव अ प्रोग्रामिंग वेबसाइट यू नीड टू शेयर सोर्स कोड विद योर ऑडियंस सो यू हैव सीन इन वेरियस वेबसाइट स्टैक ओवरफ्लो uh medium.com where they are sharing the source code so they have this uh, beautiful looking themes out there which uh, allows you to share the source code so it supports uh, unlimited themes unlimited languages so you can see this is a language closure and uh, you can see 197 languages supported and 246 styles automatic language detection multi language codes highlighting so it is uh, also available for node shares but we will be looking at in this video in this live stream we will be looking at purely in the browser side how to use this in javascript so if you don't want any sort of server side code you just need to write uh, simple static html how to do this so it's very easy so this is the library that we will be using highlight.js it's a very popular syntax highlighting uh, library it is also used at the wordpress dashboard as well it has its own plugin also so you have uh, uh, seen websites like stackoverflow.com it's a programmer question based website where programmers uh, just ask some questions so if you just uh, if i search for a question regarding c++ many uh, let me just uh, c++ game development so if you just write any question here related to stack overflow so these codes which are embedded right now inside the stack overflow are making use of uh, uh, highlight js this is syntax highlighting tool so let me just tell you guys this is a example code you can see on your screen i have also given this example code in the video description of this live stream so if you want to get this example code you can go to the video description link here this is uh, my blog post which i have written step by step so i have written all the source code here if you can see i am highlighting this code also here so this is also making use of some kind of syntax highlighter it also has line numbers as well you can just see here the line numbers so various options are also available in order to copy to clipboard all these options are also available so let me just launch this application here if i open with live server you will see that now it will apply this awesome little theme to it so basically this is the name of the theme here which is github dark so based upon that it is having various themes out there if you want to and uh, let me just show you uh, this is the actual code here it also has the live demo here you will see that if you just search this so various themes are supported guys so you can see that uh, this is the code we are highlighting here and uh, let me write this you can just replace here any code of your choice this is a simple javascript code here where you want to you will see we are using this theme uh, not if you change this to github dark so now this this theme will change to github dark you will see that if you reload this the theme will change here you will see that now the theme has been changed successfully to github dark so based upon that guys uh, you have various themes out there which you have available so these are the dif different kinds of themes which are available to you so these are different editors out there atom visual studio uh, all these editors code pen code pen is a very popular website where developers share their code code pen embed so if you want to change this theme you can change this theme to code pen embed embed 
so you can just select from multiple themes out there whichever theme you like you can choose your theme so this is and uh, you can check out the list here this is the link here this is the link where you check you can check out i have given this link in the video description of blog post so various themes are there you can see nord infolight dark stark flow dark so if i want to change this to stack overflow dark so just refresh it you can see that so based upon that guys uh, you can check out each and every theme whichever you like whichever theme you like as a developer you can you can see that and this is javascript code here you, by default this is read only i can remove this so you can also add some more code to it if i refresh it you can write this code here like this so now it is editable you can also write some code here like this id is equal to 0 this is valid javascript code here you can also change the language as well so by default it is highlighting the language is equal to javascript you can remove this so let's suppose i remove this so now if i refresh it it will auto highlight it you will see it is not looking good so you need this parameter which is language it will exactly tell you the it exactly tell the plugin which language to highlight you can change this language to let's suppose python so now if you want to write the python code so let me just delete all this code here and now by default it will be empty so if now if i write some python code which is definition add a b so this is the python code we can see that guys return a plus b a we can call this function 4 comma 5 so you can see that this is python code guys so in this way you can write the python code as well so you can just cha change this language to any language of your choice change this to html so now this will highlight html code so just uh, make a new index html file paste this code here which is this valid html code if you paste this so this is your html code here you will see that how beautiful it is looking and uh, if you are developing a blog website related to pro uh, programming this is free library which will be able to highlight source code for you if you want to sh uh, share the source code with your users and uh, make sure if you are sharing it just change this attribute add this attribute to the text area so that the user cannot modify the code so just add this read only mode here so that user cannot write something on the screen so that's all and one more thing guys you can also change the columns of the text area as well reduce it and change the rows it is totally up to you how you want to do this thing you can see that now this is looking pretty big right right here so then we also have uh, styling also done you can also apply some padding to it let's suppose i change this padding to 45 pixel width also you can change to whatever width you like so you will see that now there will be some padding out there you can also add margin you can also change the font size as well let's suppose you want to be bigger so you can change the font size to be 45 pixel so now the it will be appearing bigger here you will see that so it is kind of a beautiful editor which is uh, ready for you in the browser itself you can write code in the browser itself using this uh, awesome lit litum themes out there so it's a very good syntax highlighting library that i have shown you in this live stream so please uh, go to the video description link if you like this uh, library and download all the source code and uh, i will be seeing you in the next video until then thank you very much